for hanging out with me today. I am going to tell you a little bit more about the Beatitudes. So the Beatitudes are a section of the Bible where Jesus talks about what makes people blessed. And today we're talking about when he said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. What could this mean? Okay, pure in heart. I bet you've heard somebody say, oh man, that dessert was pure sugar. Woo! That just means it was all sugar, right? There was nothing else in there messing it up. Or maybe you've heard someone say, oh, it was pure joy. Well, that means it was all joy, right? There was nothing else in there making it not joyful, all joy. Okay, so pure just means to be one thing. Pure sugar, pure joy, pure, one thing. So if your heart is pure, now I don't mean you're inside your body, bump, 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 not that heart. I mean who you really are, deep down, that heart. If that heart is pure, that means it's just one thing. It's focused on one thing. What could the one thing be that Jesus thinks it should be focused on? living God's way. Jesus says elsewhere in the Beatitudes, blessed are the merciful, the righteous, the peacemakers. He's talking about the way that he's teaching us to live. If we are focused on that in our heart, then we have a pure heart. Okay, so blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God, he said. What does it mean to see God? Is that like, oh, it's God, hey God! And God's like, hey! No, God's not going to show up and say, hey, right? No, he doesn't mean seeing God like that. What could he mean? I think it means seeing God in the world around you. Now, if we are to see God because we have a pure heart, how does that work? Well, I think it's because of what we're not focused on, right? If you're pure of heart trying to live God's way, you'll see God in the world. What if you're not focused on God's way of living? I think there are some people who don't really care about treating others the way they want to be treated. I think there are some people that maybe are busy pretending. They're pretending to make the right choices when really they're not. They're pretending to care about others when really they don't. They more care about themselves. I think Jesus was pointing out that some people pretend a lot and that's not going to help them see God. Why not? Well, when you're busy pretending, when you're trying to look like you've made the right choice when really you haven't, that takes a lot of effort. That really makes you worried. What if people find out? That makes you sort of hide on the inside. That makes you worried about getting too close to others because you don't want them to know the truth. It'd be hard to see God if you were busy hiding and pretending, wouldn't it? I think so. But if you're pure in heart, if you're trying to live God's way, well, you have all sorts of opportunities to see God. Now, Jesus didn't say, if you're perfect in your heart, right? If you never make any choices, then any choices that are bad or wrong or hurtful to others, then you'll see God. No, Jesus didn't say that. Of course not. That's impossible. We all make bad choices sometimes. The question is, Are our hearts pure? Are we trying to make it right? When we make a bad choice, do we go back and say, I'm sorry, or how can I help? When we've done something that we know is wrong, do we try and do it better next time? That's what Jesus is saying. When we care about doing a wrong thing, when we care about treating somebody badly, that shows that we're pure in our heart, that we really don't want to be like that, that we want to do the right thing, right? So Jesus says, if you're pure in your heart like that, you are blessed because you'll see God. How can we see God in the world around us? Well, I think for one thing, we can see God in nature. Here I am outside with birds flying over my head. I see God in creation. I also think we can see God in other people. Did you know it says in the Bible that we're all created in the image of God? All people everywhere. In some way, we're like God in the way that we love each other, in the way that we're creative, in the way that we can make the world a better place. We're like God. So when we see other people doing that, we're seeing God. 
you can see God in a little baby. You can see God in a very old lady. You can see God. All people show us God. So my challenge to you this week is where do you see God in your life? Hmm. Maybe you do Zoom calls with your friends. You can see God in your friends wanting to talk to you, caring about you. God cares about you. You can maybe see God in a phone call with your grandma or your grandpa, wondering, maybe they say, did you get the card I sent you? Or did you like that video clip I emailed your mom and dad? That's like God. God cares about us. God wants us to know how much he cares, right? Maybe you can see God in your little brother or sister. Little brothers and sisters can be so funny, right? So creative, so wacky. God's like that. God is super creative. He made platypuses and stuff, right? Crazy. There are so many ways to see God in the world. I hope you take this week and look for ways that you can see God because I know you have a pure heart. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.